Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Mr. Tie-Dye and today we're going to be doing some experimenting. Uh, I've had some questions. I, I played around, did some uh, dyes and then had some questions on how I did them. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. I've only, it's been an experiment. I've done it a couple times and had some pretty cool results and it's what I call a, a pour dye. P-O-U-R pour dye. I'm just going to scrunch these up. Uh, what I'm starting with is just a t-shirt that's been pre-washed and spun out so it's just barely damp with just plain water. And I'm going to scrunch it up and then I'm going to submerge it in a tub of soda ash and then I'm going to pull it out and immediately pour one color of dye on top of it and just let it soak down through. So I'm going to tie these up. So far I've only done this as a scrunch, but I'm going to tie up a scrunch, a spiral, and an accordion fold. And then do different colors on each one and see what kind of results we get. So you guys can just stay tuned here. I'm going to start out by folding this one in half by tucking one sleeve into the other. Once I get the two sleeves tucked together, I do have a video on this called Centering a T. Uh, you can look that up, but basically I just tuck one sleeve into the other sleeve. I line up the bottom seam here and then just line the, the sleeve up evenly. And you can shake that out. I reach inside, make sure my shoulder seams are lined up. And then you can shake the whole t-shirt out. At that point, I pick up just the front of the tee, give it one more shake, and then I can line up the front and the back of the t-shirt. Everything lines up nice and neat. So there's my folding in half or centering the tee. The next thing I'm going to do is scrunch this up. Just a kind of a random scrunch. I like folding in half because then it creates symmetry and with this random pour that I'm going to do I'm hoping to get some nice symmetry on this. Sometimes faces and things show up. And there's the spiral. So what I'm going to do is pour soda ash over all three of these. And then one at a time I'm going to pull them out while they're still dripping wet with soda ash and immediately pour dye over top. So let's get the soda ash on there right now. I'll get some gloves and get set up and we'll go for the pour dye. Okay, we're ready to go. So over here, yeah, you can see that. So I have these here. They're soaking in the soda ash. I got my tub. I'm going to set the t-shirt right here. And then I have about eight ounces of black dye. Uh, this here is just regular. It's not thickened in any way. It's just regular dye that I normally use for my tie dye. So what I'm going to do is set this over here and then just quickly pour this on here while the soda ash is still seeping out of there. So here we go. Okay, and I didn't quite use all of it, so and this here had, doesn't have any soda ash in it, so I'm just going to pour this back in my bottle. But we're going to get to the next one. Okay, next I have some emerald green dye. 
and I'm going to do the spiral. So it's still soaking over here. It's sopping wet. So I'm going to take it out. And there's the green one the, on the spiral. So we're going to do one more. Okay, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Uh, this time I have a half a cup of uh, turquoise and a half a cup of fuchsia. So we're going to do this one last tea and do a little bit of color blending. So once again, it's coming straight out of the soda ash. So just a little bit of color blending there as I pour both colors back and forth. So we'll see what that ends up giving us there. So thank you for watching this experiment. Experimenting with Mr. Tie-Dye. So we're going to let these batch for 48 hours. I'll probably go ahead and dump the excess dye out of here, but I'm going to let them batch. Um, let's take a little peek at the bottom side. Looks like we got color coming through there. That soaked all the way through, but still left maybe a little bit of white. And the green one left a little bit of white. But we'll see how those finish out when they're all done. So thank you for watching. Good morning and welcome to Hippie Christmas. So it's time to open up these pour dyes I did. So we'll see what we get. All right, let's open it all the way up. the black pour dye. So we'll get these all rinsed and posted later. Okay, here's the next one. This is the one I did a spiral and then poured green over top of it. Alright, let's open this up. Poor die. All right, let's open it. All right, we'll get these washed and posted later.